hey guys this is E with scrapbooking with me and I am a couple of weeks behind on Melina's challenge so I wanted to try to get caught up today I'm gonna do the one where she did the shaker belly bands now I don't have a lot of sequins well I do somewhere but they're probably buried since we like I told you before a bunch of times since we packed everything up and did our remodel and all of that everything has gotten placed somewhere in boxes and I'm just now finding things so I found a few and I wanted to make one for my uh, winter journal anyway and I found some that had some snowflakes in it so that'll work I'm gonna use this paper this is from blue fern now I need to just measure a page and see how wide I need to make these because my journal is a little bit different than hers was Mine is five and a half wide, so I'm gonna make them five and a quarter. And then I'll probably, let's see, I think she said she made them two and a half, maybe? Well, I think so, we'll, we'll start cutting and we'll see. So first off, we're gonna cut five and a quarter. Well, I need to, let's see. I'm trying to think now, and that's that hurts my head. I won't be able to cut them on this one anyway. I need five and a quarter, so I need to fold a quarter of an inch on each end. So that means I actually need five and three quarters cut. You have to add and subtract in this stuff. <laughs> Five and three quarters. Let's see, that would get me, yeah, that would get me a quarter. I'll explain it more in just a minute when I get everything cut. And then I think I'm only going to, I don't know, I can't remember the measurements that she made hers. But if I make them two inches wide, let's say two and a half inches wide, that'll make them two inches, which is going to be about right I think so let's make it two and a half so we'll cut it two and a half that way and you can make yours any size that you want of course you know that this is just me and my trying to figure it out <laughs> okay so let's go ahead take our little scoring tool here scoreboard okay I'm just scoring at a quarter inch on all sides we'll see what we've got we folded it that's gonna be kind of a wide one I may want it a little bit narrower because even after I fold this back that's gonna be kind of a wide belly band or I fold it over like this let me look I'm looking like I said, I watched her video late last night, <laughs> and I don't remember. Uh, let's look at it on the book and see. Get it on the journal. That's the best way to tell if it's going to work or not. I think I might cut it down just a little. The main reason being that I don't have a lot of sequins. But the other reason is I don't want it too wide. Now, I love this paper. Let's see. Let's cut it down to... Two and a quarter. See what we get. I, I think, I want to say hers were two and a quarter. I don't know. I don't know. But you have to remember, every how wide you want it, you need to cut it a half an inch wider because you're scoring at one quarter inch on all sides. So let's fold that and see if that looks about right. Sorry, Melina. I know I watched your video, but for the life of me, and that doesn't look straight at all, does it? For the life of me, I cannot remember what size. I know you cut them at like five and five inches or something like that, but I knew I'd have to have mine a little bit wider since I um, have a wider page than you. Okay, that looks better. First off, you have to score them kind of straight. Yeah, that looks more like the right width. And then, so I'll tell you the exact width that I have mine. Now, like I said, you're going to have to measure your journal 
don't go by my measurements because your pages in your journal may be completely different than mine. Now, I think she said she cut out these little boxes. I'm going to have to flip it over this way to see the boxes. That paper's so busy on that side. Whoops. I got behind on her challenge trying to get everything else caught up. So I'm two weeks behind, I think. But hopefully we can get that caught up today. This week, anyway. All right. So we just cut out those little boxes on each corner. Now, I have some old packaging here that I'm going to use for my acetate piece, or my, this is plastic. If you don't have any old packaging, you don't have any plastic around, you can use, I think Melina said she used some gift wrap. Uh, you can use whatever you have in your stash. Or you can use vellum, it just won't be as see-through. Okay, you know I'm having to think when I can't talk. Uh, let's cut this at one and a half. One and a half by, I'm just folding my little pieces over to see. One and a half by, uh, we can cut it at five. One and a half by five. Now, I'll tell you, let me write that down somewhere so I will know what, well, you have to get paper to write on. One, one, half by five. Now, I'll tell you the exact sizes that I have. And if your journal pages are the size mine are, then you can cut yours like this. And if not, you'll have to measure. All right, this is five and three quarters. And it is by two and a quarter. And then I scored at a quarter inch on all sides. Cut out my little corners there, my little squares. This piece of packaging I am going to cut it one and a half by five yeah one and a half by five all right and this is going to make two because it's actually double five inches I'm cut it a little bit just a tiny bit over five because I need to cut that other end off there I have just a little tiny piece of waste, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and cut that little tiny end off where it's stitched together. So this is why I tell you guys to save your packaging. <laughs> now, unless it's all crumpled up, you can reuse that packaging lots of times. Now, I know you can't see that, and I probably won't be able to either when I get started. All right. I am going to ink around this in blue and this is tumbled glass just so it will match my journal a little bit better I wish I had a snowflake punch but I don't think I do if I had a little one you could punch some snowflakes if you don't have sequins you can always just put little punched out pieces in here but isn't that going to be pretty I love that paper have I said that before love it all right i'm gonna cut these corners a little bit at an angle just so that they're not crashing into each other there we go this one same way a little bit of an edge or angle there let's hope that i got the acetate cut correctly i can't even see it in there so we'll just pretend that we know where it is and glue how does that sound yeah, I think that's going to work fine right there. Okay, we're going to put our glue here, here, and here. I'm going to put it on the paper and not the acetate. I'm going to use art glitter glue. I think that will work fine. Oops. Well, I use it if I can get it in there, won't I? But you can use whatever glue that you prefer. I think... Um, Score tape would work great on this too. Now don't glue one end together because you're going to need to leave it open so that you can put your sequins in there. Hopefully I'm not getting my head in the shot because I'm trying to bend over this so I can see. I'm going to press on that until it adheres. Uh, Fabri-Tac would probably work really well on this as well. Let's see. I'm going to fold that sides over first 
And you could always stitch it too. I hadn't thought about that. You could stitch it. Then you wouldn't even have to use a glue. I mean, you might use a little bit of glue just to hold it down until you've got stitching done. But that would be cute to stitch it. We might try one of those. Okay. And try not to get your, <laughs> your glue on your acetate. That's a really good plus. Let's see. I feel like it's not glued right there, and it's not. Now, I don't use glitter. So I don't use, like, glitter glitter, real glitter. I use glitter pens. So I don't have any glitter to put in here. But Melina said the glitter usually fell out anyway. Make sure that you burnish the sides really well. So my acetate is sticking up just a little bit. So I'm going to open that side back up and just press it down. I probably folded it up a little bit when I put the glue on there. Melina makes this look so easy. <laughs> okay, look at that. <laughs> See, I'm a heavy hand gluer. Okay, note to self, you need to cut your acetate a little bit wider. Just a tiny bit. So that it doesn't come out of the edge. Okay, let me see. I, it's hard for me to see if I've got it in all the way. But I think I do. Now, you're going to leave this end open and you're going to put your little sequins down in there. I may let that dry a little bit more before I open it up to put sequins in it. Because I'm afraid I'm going to pull that loose. So let's set that aside and try another one. Okay, I think I'll cut one with this at the back, that blue. All right, I cut that five and a quarter by two and a quarter, didn't I? And let's see. Is that right? No, five and three quarters. Five and three quarters. Then we're going to score on three sides, or all sides, at one quarter inch, all sides. And I just score out here because it's easier for me to get to. Fold and burnish. Okay. Now I'm going to cut these little squares out on the end down here. And I'm going to cut mine just a little bit at an angle. It seems to keep them from crashing into each other. So I'm just going to cut mine like I do when I'm covering a book cover or something. Just a little bit of, of an angle like that. Now, I'm going to cut a piece of acetate, I think, a little bit wider. I don't think that is actually wide enough. So, let me cut this one at, I cut that one at one and a half. So, I'm going to cut this at one and three quarters. And then, I believe... The five is okay, but we'll go like five and an eighth just to be on the safe side. There we go. Yeah, a lot of mine is done with trial and error. Now see, I've got that too wide. <laughs> okay, we'll cut it down to... All right, we're going to cut it down to one and five eighths. And if you don't know where the five eighths inch mark is it's right after the half inch it's that next little tick all right let's see if that works yes that's much better you don't want to have too much slide back and forth in there and i know you cannot see that acetate but trust me i think that'll be much better this one 
it wanted to slide out a little bit on this side because I didn't have it wide enough. So you want it wide enough, but you don't want it too wide. So just have just a tiny bit of play in there. All right, let's go ahead and, well, I think I can glue down and then ink. What do you think? Yeah, that'll work. Um, I'm going to use my art glitter glue again. I just trust it. The Fabri-Tac, I get a little bit too much down and it squeezes out and it doesn't dry clear. <laughs> well, it dries clear, but it doesn't wipe off as easy as art glitter glue does. So, Melina shouldn't have done this. She should know her mother cannot see this acetate. Okay, so we got that side down, I think. And then I'm just going to hold it down like this and put this other one on. That just, I think that'll make it a little bit easier for me. And I am driving the glue crooked today. Alright, just run back and forth over that. If you need to, you can clip it to just make sure that it dries before you do anything else. Now this paper is very, very thick. So when I folded it, it cracked a little bit. That's okay with me because I will just ink it up and it'll be fine. But, you know, if you have a real thick paper, you need to score it on both sides to keep it from cracking. So score it on one side lightly, flip it over, and score it on the other side. And that will keep down the cracking of your paper. But see, I'm just going to ink mine anyway, so it doesn't matter. Not going to worry about it, are we? Let's see. I think we got that. I should have put a little bit of ink right there. So you can see my white edges. But that's okay. We got it. Now let's see if this one's dry enough to put some sequins in. Because, and I don't even know if these, yeah, they'll go down in there. It's going to be, it's going to be larger than life. Okay, I'm going to hold it up just a little bit like that and I have a little tool somewhere there we go I have a little spoon and it might it works a lot better if you have it in a smaller flatter container okay let's put some more snowflakes in there I mainly want snowflakes in it don't want a lot of the other colors All right, snowflakes, you need to go down, 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 down. There we go. Now I got mine really tight, so, <laughs> so I don't want those two snowflakes together right there. So let's see if we can spread them out a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna put another snowflake up here. And they don't really move a lot, which is okay. That's not a problem because they're so big. There we go. We're moving them now. And I think that's all I'm going to put in there because I don't want to completely cover that back. So I don't think I'm going to put any more than that in there. I need to separate my little snowflakes, but I can keep wiggling it and do that. They're going to separate when I continue to move it. I'm going to go ahead and glue this end down real well so nothing falls out yeah I'll be able to separate those when I if I just keep wiggling and keep doing that I can separate them so they don't sit on top of one another but that's okay with me right there so that is one now I was trying to decide if I want anything on this on the outside we might want a little snowflake on the outside. What do you think? I don't know if I have a little one. Let's see. I think I will attach a little snowflake right there and then put a little sequin, a little blue sequin right in the middle of it. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I don't mind that. 
and then this will and I'm going to use no I use this and then this will make it blend even better with my blue journal so I guess the first is usually not as great as the others, hopefully. Hopefully I get better as I go along. Oh, me. There we go. Cute. I like that. You know, we could even put a little sequin right in the middle of that, maybe. Yeah, let's do that. One little dot of glue and just drop that right there so there is that one it's a little bit off center isn't it there's that one i don't mind that and i you could even put a little label or something here we may do that too all right we've got this one so let's put a few more i just have a few more snowflakes i think now, one of the things that will keep your sequins from sticking together is if you have a little bit of powder you can put down in there. There again, I have a powder tool, but who in the world knows where it is? I don't. So if you have a little bit of powder, even baby powder, you can shake it down in there and it will help your sequins from sticking together because, you know, they're staticky. They're going to stick together a little bit. Okay, we'll open that up. I'm going to put one and let it hopefully drop to the bottom. There we go. Then we'll scoop up a few of these guys. And I don't mind what color. I mean, we've got reds and blues and silvers and, and gold in here. So any of those colors are fine. Oops, I think I just missed the whole shot. <laughs> you see what I'm doing? I'm dumping them right out on the table because I'm missing the acetate. Oh, my goodness. And I'm not going to put that heart in there. All right, we will put, let's see if I can hit it with another scoop, maybe. And maybe one more little scoop. Okay, then I'm going to that piece down in there and maybe one more snowflake and I'm just rubbing it around in my hand because my hand has lotion on it so maybe that will keep it from sticking where I don't want it to stick and I think that's all I'm going to put in there I, you could go ahead and fill it up but I don't think I want to because I don't want that many in there that you can't see the paper in the back We do get better as we go, hopefully. Okay. Rub that until it sticks. Yeah, that one I think is a little bit better. There we go. We've got our snowflakes in there. And I like that. Okay, let's see. I want to put something like a label or something on these and I may make one more but that may be all that I make I just need two of these for this journal so let's see we could put a little bit of black bling on the outside that'd be pretty bling is good anyway right let's take that piece let's take I know I'm getting really fussy over this you don't have to do all this this is just me I am gonna put just a little strip of book page this is old 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 book page all right let's ink it up and see what it looks like it may not work if it doesn't that's fine we'll do something different yeah, I'm going to cut it off right there, or tear it off. And, you know, I may want it down here. Okay. Then, put a couple of pieces of black bling on there. Oh, yeah, I like that 
cool. I like that a lot. Okay. Now, I don't know, since we've got this on the outside, I really don't think we're going to have to have another anything else on this one except maybe just a little bit of blue. We may put a little piece of bling and a little tiny piece of book page. I want to turn this book page over because this side says he wants to marry me. I don't really want that on my journal. Little tiny piece. I'm just going to slide it up under that little snowflake there as best I can. Oh my gosh, guys, we had another skunk visit us last night. Oh my goodness. It smelled horrible in here this morning when I got up and come to the shop. Whew. They, I don't know, they get outside and they must get scared by something or... Anyway, they do some yucky stuff. Alright, th I like those show you both of them pretty close. There's that one. And then there's that one. I like that. I feel like I do need something right here on this one. All right, what about one of those little lacy blue flowers? Is that too much? I'm going to tint it a little bit. Just knock that white back a little bit. All right, I like that. Okay, let's do another, and I think on this one I'm going to use just a double thickness of a book page. I think we can get away with that, hopefully. Um, let's see. Maybe even a triple thickness. And I'm just going to guess at this one because this one will go in a, another journal, so I have no idea what size it will be. We'll guess at it. Alright, and then we're going to glue these together. And I'm going to stitch around this one since it's a book page. So I'm just going to put a little glue right in the middle. little glue right in the middle. Okay. Now I will use my score tool to score these. I think I want this to be the upside. That way I can fold it straighter. I'm not going to say straight, but straighter. Okay. Quarter inch. Whoops. Keep your finger out of the way, Edith. Quarter inch. Now the book pages are not going to be completely straight. Most of them aren't. But I think we'll be able to get the gist of it anyway. The only thing is I'm not gonna have my not gonna have any writing or very much writing right on the top because this up here was blank unless I fold it the other way. Let's see what happens if I fold it this way. Yep, I think that'll work better. Fold it that way. And I'm just kind of folding these. My score lines didn't exactly work like I wanted them to, so I'm just folding it over. Okay. Um, cut out our little squares here on the end. And just cut them out at a little bit of an angle so that they don't crash into each other. There we go. And I'm not worried about the edges not being together, so I'm going to stitch it anyway. Okay. There we go. But I am going to reinforce my score lines. Hmm, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. This little piece right here I'm going to cut off because we don't need it anyway. And it's just kind of getting in my way. And this one. Now you could put a photo or something back here, a uh, picture of something. I want the writing back there. I think that's fine. So that's I'm just going to leave mine as is. 
but you could put a real pretty, you know, floral photo back there or something. And Melinda did not do one of these. This is just her mama going rogue, as I usually do. All right, let's try that. Put her paper and our plastic in here. And this is going to definitely have to be cut off at the end, and that's okay. We can do that. Okay, now if we fold that over. Okay, this is definitely going to have to be inked and vintaged up. and use our distress ink on it and I'll probably use some distress ink on the inside too it just looks a little bit too plain too white for me go ahead and put our acetate in here or our piece of plastic as mine is all right and all I'm gonna do is put just a few drops of glue here and there I think no, I'm not even going to put any glue. I'm going to try it without the glue. So we'll see what happens. All right, I'm going to go to my sewing machine. And I'm going to stitch right down through here. And then I'll fold this up and stitch down through here. And I'll leave this little end right here open. And then we'll put our sequins in and then stitch across there. See what happens. See if this works. Look, it worked. And I don't have to wait for it to dry to open it up because I caught the plastic in there too so we're good there so let's go ahead and I'm just going to put I'm just going to drop some in there I don't know what color just going to try to make sure I don't get a snowflake in there but this one will definitely not be used in my snowflake journal it will be used in another journal somewhere and if it's not as wide as my page, it, I don't care. That doesn't matter to me. Okay. Let's get all these that I dropped. There we go. Now, like I said, I don't, I'm not going to put too many because I want the... Oh, it has a butterfly in there. No, that's a flower. I want some of the book page to show. So I'm not going to put too many in there. Remember, to keep them from sticking together, put a little bit of powder down in there. Even baby powder. I don't know, foot powder, whatever powder you have. <laughs> whatever powder you have available. All right, let me get these sequins out of the way, and I'm going to go back and stitch that little end there, and we'll have that done. Then we can do something else with it. Okay, I really like the stitching. <laughs> I like that. So, if I make any more, I may stitch around them instead of glue. And you don't have to wait for anything to dry. I like that part, too. Plus, I like the stitched look. I think that's pretty. So, there is that one. Look at that. That's cute. Now, this one's going to be a lot shorter than these, and that's okay. Oops, got a little piece of... But, I want to put a little something on the edge of this one, too. We could put a little button there. I got a little heart we could put there. It says love. Um, I'm just searching through this little pile of things that I've got here. I think we might put that little heart there. Just glue that down. And you don't have to put anything on this if you don't want to. Anything on the outside, you can just leave it. You know me. I don't know when to stop. Hmm, let's see. Let's go ahead and glue this down too. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right here. There we go. I like that. Cute. And like I said, you can always go ahead and put labels on these if you want to. Labels would be very, very cute. Okay, I think that's all that we're going to do on these. There is our sequin belly bands. Now, you could make one up and down, I think Melina said, but they're a little bit uh, different. They don't have quite the shaker effect, but I'm sure they would work fine. 
uh, so we can put it on that like that or one of this blue page that'd be pretty mm, that is pretty put it like that um, come over here we can put it across here and then you can tuck things in behind there and then this one's going to be good for a smaller journal or you could always just put this down at the bottom and glue it on three sides and have it another little pocket tuck there cute all right guys i think that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give us the thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and we'll give you some close-up shots of these at the end we'll talk to you guys later thanks so much for watching Bye-bye.